Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I want to show you how you can go ahead and set up a WordPress site on your desktop locally, edit it in Dreamweaver, and then upload seamlessly, because that's actually what I do for my site, which is where this tutorial is. I administer this all using WordPress, as well as this site, and typically what you would do is you would go ahead and customize and maybe get into the editor under appearance and have to deal with this. And this is what I don't like. I'd rather use Dreamweaver to administer my site and then upload it when it's good to go okay so that's why I'd want to do this and the first thing you need to do is go to wordpress.org and then download the latest version okay which is what I've already done I've downloaded it it's right here I can unzip it and I can see all the files in here this is a clean WordPress site I'll double click on this readme file and I can dive into this but it already gets confusing because it asks me to upload everything and like I said I actually want to just work on it locally so what this means is that I need to set up a local server and I'm gonna do that all with MAMP or WAMP if you're on a PC but basically it enables you to manage your websites locally so just go ahead and install MAMP or WAMP just like I've done here you can see it right here and I'll go ahead and start the servers and I can even open up the start page. This tells me everything is running great, gives me this local host which I will be using, but I'd also like to point out that it will put this particular folder called htdocs in the MAMP folder, and this is really where all your sites are going to go. So what I need to do is I need to go out to that WordPress folder that I've unzipped and then just drag it into that htdocs folder. You can see it right down there, okay? And now I have MAMP running. In fact, I'll jump out here and I'll just type up WordPress. Because I dragged that folder in there. It says, hey, you know what? You need to set up a WP config file. So we're part of the way there. We have our server running locally. We just need to set up a database and administer our site. So let's create a configuration file. So let's get into it. As I click let's go, I need a database name, a username, password, database host, all of that good stuff. So where do I get that? Well, I'm going to open up that start page again. And I can go ahead and click on PHP my admin because this got installed and I can actually add databases right here okay yours might look a little bit different because I did change the theme okay but with that done I can go into databases I can create a new database called WordPress database has been created that's good so I can go back out to this dialogue that I'm using database name is WordPress username password database host table prefix well let's figure out how we do that first thing we need to do after we create our database is add a user so I'll add a user with a particular username just like that PR tranny right there or it could be root host local host password from here it's basically fill in the blank and it's okay if you guys see this because hey you don't have access to my computer all right, that is set up. I think that looks pretty good. In fact, right over here, I need to grant global privileges, so I'm going to check everything. So I see that there. I'll click Go. As I do that, you can see I've added that new user. Everything checks out. I can always edit those privileges. But with that done right over here, let's click Submit. WordPress can now communicate with your database that you've just set up. So we'll just run this install. I can even close out of this page and a couple of these others. And at this point, I can just go through standard information needed for WordPress. The username and password are a new username and password for WordPress specifically. I actually made them just the exact same as my database. Just uncheck privacy because we don't want search engines to index this site now since that's where it lives on my desktop. Install, success, I like seeing that. Logging in with login I just created and now that's where I'm at with WordPress. 
In fact, I can start to take a look at, say, the posts. I can also view the site. You can see it's filled with absolutely nothing. So this is where I'd actually want to go ahead and potentially insert some of my information and really start editing this. Uh, and quite frankly, I'm actually going to use this current site. And this might often be the case as you're working on a site and you really need to make it a local site so you can edit it some more. So that's what I do is I'd go ahead and export out all the posts, pages, comments, fields, categories, all that good stuff. Just download that particular export file is what I'm doing. There it is. And now what I need to do is go back into the site that I'm working on because, again, I need some information to work with so I can style it. And dive right again into Tools, Import that XML from WordPress, install this plugin, and from there I'm going to go ahead and locate that file that I've downloaded, upload that file and import it. And I'm just going through this quickly. But basically, if I just hit submit, just imported all of that content that I want to work with. So now if I visit the site, you can see there's some of that content I want to work with. All right, so since we have WordPress set up locally, let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do in Dreamweaver. And uh, I can take a look at this PHP file. And the first message you'll get is that uh, the dynamically related files can't be discovered because a testing server isn't defined. Well, let's go ahead and set one up. And I can click this Add That Particular Server. We'll just call it Local. Connect using a local network. We point to that server folder inside of htdocs, choosing that folder. And then lastly, I need that URL, which is, again, localhost forward slash WordPress or whatever you've named your site and clicking save there it is saving that and with that done i can click live view in dreamweaver there it is there's my content and really i can play with it or stylize it as much as i want and when i'm ready i can always upload to that remote server 